Chris and I should probably be finishing painting my barn but I got started playing with this Ryobi power stations they make three different ones they've got this really small one that's just two type A ports that are 2.1 amps this is the uh, P743 then they have one that's got 150 watt AC inverter on it but it's only a modified sine wave and then it has two type A ports that are 2.4 amps and more recently, they've come out with this 40 volt system that has a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. It has a type C port that has multiple voltages and it also has a type A port that supports multi multiple voltages. So it's pretty nice. The only downside is it takes these new 40 volt batteries. Um, I've got a ton of these 18 volt batteries and I really can't see going to spend a lot of, you know, hundred dollars for a new battery. So what I did is, I built a, an adapter that takes uh, two similar type 18 volt batteries, you know, so these are both say four amp hours, and you put them together in series. And then I developed a little panel adapter that slides into the back of the inverter and it slides in and locks in. And now you can use it. The only downside is that it now has these wires that are kind of in the way, but I figured you could just take your, you know, Ryobi bags that you get a ton of and you could store the batteries in this and then hang this over your shoulder or whatever else. I only have this 140 volt tool, so I haven't tried it on any other ones, but I think if you had like a lawnmower or some of these other ones, having the wire going to a bag is not too bad of a problem. So let's see what it takes to build one of these. Here's a little carrier I made to keep the two batteries together. It has a strap that goes around. And I found this clip on Thingiverse. And then I put a hole here so you could hang it if you, I guess you wanted to. My original design to connect to a Ryobi battery was this cap here that uses a Ryobi part. It connects to normal connectors. But for this project, I added these arms onto the Part so that when you put it onto the battery they lock into the battery so it doesn't pull off and then to get it off you have to squeeze the button to release. I've used the Ryobi replacement part and it's keyed here on the end so you just have to slip it into the part and push it in and it snaps into place. Wire, I've used a 10 gauge silicon wire that's multi-stranded. Uh, it's very flexible and it's high temperature. And for terminals, I just went and used Ace Hardware and used the 10 to 12 gauge covered connectors. Just using a stripper to strip the wires. Slip on the connector. And I have a crimper here that I'm just going to use to crimp. And that's how I made up my wires. The adapter is designed so that your crimped spade connectors can fit right in and they snap in. Push it down further. I haven't had to glue them. The adapter plate is designed so it slides in and snaps in place. You can see here the snap is down. To remove it you have to pull up and pull out. Turn the inverter on, you just push the button, it turns green. It also has a LED light that you can put on blink 
are off. To turn it back off, you have to hold it down for a couple seconds and then it turns off. Here I'm testing my two 4 amp hour batteries with the inverter. I've got two 100 light bulbs on and you can see at the kilowatt here, I've got 200 watts and it's running okay. Now I have two 100 watt bulbs and a 75 watt bulb and you can see that the 280 to 79 watts and it's now made the inverter's fan to turn on. I'm going to start the test with two 100 watt light bulbs on and the inverter's light is green and it's saying that we're taking a little over 200 watts. But as soon as I flip on the third bulb, it goes over 300 watts and the inverter shuts down and starts blinking red. I've hooked up my load tester to the Type-C port. It says here that it can take 2 amps on the Type-C port and 3 amps on the Type-A port. And so right now I'm drawing just under 2 amps at 20 volts. So confirming with my tester that it supports the different voltages. 5, 9, 12, 15, and 20. Well, I hope people can try this adapter out on other Ryobi products that are 40 volts. And if this has been helpful to you, please uh, subscribe and hit like. Thanks, have a great day.